Okay, we're here at the x -Corps facility in Mojave with Dan DeLong, who's the chief engineer uh, for the company. And uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at the engine for the Lynx. What we're looking at here is an early prototype of the Lynx engine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's complete except there's a nozzle extension that's not installed yet. Right. It has a stainless steel cooling jacket. The flight hardware will be aluminum, but other than that, it is a Lynx engine. And you've, you've uh, run tests on this? We have run tests on this. Okay. Um, we're not running tests at the moment. We probably will start testing again in October. Okay. And what improvements are, are going to be made? Oh, you mentioned the... Uh, well, this uh, is developed after the engine in the rocket racer. Mm -hmm. That engine was 1,500 pounds thrust. Right. This engine is about 3,000 pounds thrust, and it's actually a little bit smaller. Uh, we're getting the higher performance by going to higher combustion chamber pressure, and we're doing that by putting our piston pumps on rather than using pressurized propellant tanks. And what does this run on? This runs on liquid oxygen and a commercial grade of kerosene. Okay. And uh, how, how many of these are going to be on the Lynx? The Lynx vehicle has four of these, mm -hmm. although for the first flights we may install only two because we don't need full performance for the first flights of the test program. And when do you expect the first flights to start? We're still optimistic that we can have uh, first flights by the end of summer and uh, next year, 11. All right. And how, how long do you think the test program will go? Well, flight testing is what flight testing is. You always discover things that uh, you didn't know and you didn't predict. It could be as little as six months. It could be a year or more in flight test. Although there certainly will be more than 50 flights in the test program. Okay. And uh, how long do you think it'll take before you're flying uh, clients? Mark. Oh, the first participants will probably be flying within a year of the first runway hop flight. Okay. And what's the benefit of this engine over, say, other designs? What's the selling point that sold you on this? This engine has been in development for several years. Uh, all the engines we do are based on the earlier engines. And the reason why we're developing this engine is because it'll have the lowest per flight cost. All you need to do is reload the uh, liquid oxygen and kerosene and go fly again. And how many how many flights do you think you can get out of an engine like this before you have to overhaul it? Well the overhaul of each engine includes the engine and the propellant pumps. Mm -hmm. Right now we're trying for two hours of runtime between overhauls and uh, at three minutes per flight that's quite a few flights. Okay. Um, We've certainly gone more than two hours in the past, but uh, we're conservative on those estimates as well. Anything else you wanted to add about the engine? Yeah, I've personally ridden on one of these engines, and it's a lot of fun, and we design them for safety first. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks.